All right, boys, I'm finally gonna do it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I never thought I'd actually do this. And wow, Luna is pissed. Window for me. Are you mad? For those of you who aren't clued in, I was in California for the whole last year, but that was not my house. I was just renting a place to be in Cali for a whole year. Biggest pet peeve is when YouTubers do house tours of like a house they're renting. Like you're just touring someone else's house. That's not your house. Either way, uh, a big, big, big step that we made this year was we actually finally purchased this house. I am in Grand Haven, Michigan. We're really close to the water. It's like my dream place. We also are finally finished with the Wheel of Mutt Garage. I've been talking about this for like seven months. All the money I made from winning that golf competition, I put towards that. It's finally done. You guys are gonna get to see that. I'll give you a little house tour. I really am just so grateful because the only reason I get to do this is because of you guys. So thank you so much. Let's go. Let's get in. First thing you notice every time you come to my house is the foobies will attack. Thank you. This is Luna, uh, also known as Phoebe. Give me your wiener. This is Mika. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Phoebe. <laughs> this is Bandana Phoebe. This is your evolution, is Bandana Phoebe. Hi. Just put this up, it's so sick. It's like a 3D wall art of Michigan. So Grand Haven, that's like the beach that we're on. So we're like right there, right on Lake Michigan. And then Lansing, this right here, this is where Michigan State is. And that's where my family is. So Michigan State's right here. Ann Arbor is where the University of Michigan is. And then Detroit, we don't go there because we don't want to die. Just kidding, Detroit's, Detroit's kind of nice. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> They just redid the whole kitchen before I moved in. I love this light blue. It's like my favorite. I mean, you can tell. It's like my favorite color. I feel like I'm on HGTV. And they, they're gonna do this all day, dude. They literally, like, they just scrap. Ooh, Randy Orton. Everybody comments on this. My older brother got this for me for Christmas. It's like a cutting board. The man, the meat, the legend, Papa Meeks. We only cut bratwurst on there, baby. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, you're doing good. You're not. Sit. Good girl. Okay. There you go, Chompy. Wait, shake. Good girl. You're so pretty. This is the casting couch featuring Luna and, and Mika. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like some names I have to be shit. All right, cool. So this is like, I guess it's called the basement, but it's like six steps of basement. It's kind of cool. So it's not like an entirely different part of the house, but you just kind of like waddle right down here. And me and Chase just set up something sick. Chase is behind the camera if you guys didn't know. He's my new full-time videographer. Uh, we went to high school together. He's a stud, so you'll see him a lot of videos. So this is basically like the living room. Uh, I had to get giant bean bags because they're so lit. This, this is what I mean by like I'm turning into a mom. I never even knew it did that. It's a coffee table, right? But it swivels. It's just so sick. Because wow. what if I want something here and I also want something here? What if I want something right here? <laughs> it's so lit. I love this thing. So usually there's another beanbag right here, but me and Chase just made this like ultimate gaming dungeon where we can disrespect women as much as we want. This is my old iMac. We've got two Xboxes, two monitors, the OG little LED strips behind. And do you guys remember this? I'm just gonna put this up. Very few of you are gonna remember this. This is from like a vlog that did not get a lot of views like four years ago. If you remember this, I love you. I will not be giving the backstory. You guys outside, outside is my favorite part. Like the absolute best part of this house is the backyard, 100%. And that's really why I got it. But this is the Four Seasons room. It's so pretty, it gets hot as shit in here, but in the winter, it's so awesome. It's got one of those like super old school furnaces, which is super cute in the winter. Dude, it's got a beer tap. I legally can drink the alcohol. Whenever I'm really sad about all my girlfriends leaving me, I just sit here. Like a water fountain, you know? Those are fire. Those are fire. Dude, are cute? <laughs> Give me a smooch. Thank you. First thing we did was get the electric fence so that Fooby won't run away. She used to just forever. Like, you can see like a bunch of geese over there. She would literally just yeah, there. bolt. So Luna, Luna like hates the water, will not swim, but if she's chasing geese, she will swim because she wants them so bad that it overpowers her fear of the water. So lots of landscaping, I think it's so cute. There's this upper deck right here. 
I don't know if you guys remember the egg chair. I got it for my apartment at MSU and I figured out, I was like, you know, at some point in my life, I might have a house and I might put it somewhere. Damn, it looks crispy. Dude, bugs are so dumb though. When you sit out here and turn it on, bugs literally fly straight into it and just die. It's kind of like a, it's a sad, like, cemetery for bugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe my favorite place in the whole house. I spend a good hour here every day thinking about how much I hate myself. <laughs> Just zoom in where. Alright, and then I mean, this is gonna sound obvious, but like one of the coolest, coolest parts is having actual waterfront access. I know a lot of people who have boats, but then they like take it to the boat launch and stuff, and it's really like, I don't know, it's a huge hassle. The way that I ended up even getting this house is I told a realtor here in Michigan, I said, hey, over the next four or five years, if you see a house that pops up that has like lake access, and that I could afford, and not even four days later, he's like, hey, I know this is a little quick, but that exact house just popped up. And I was like, oh, all right, shit, I guess I'll, I'll move some, I guess I'll sell out a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much to all my sponsors, guys. Really use their products, they're super cool. No, I'm serious, you guys, you have to do it. Raid Shadow Legends is the best mobile game that's ever played. Boobies, what are you fooling? Landscape, like, admittedly used to look a lot better until the Foobies use it as their hunting ground. I can barely see the Uber Chief. Yeah, the Uber Chover. All right, now I'll give you guys the boat tour. This is the best part. Next year, I want jet skis. It was just so hard to get them this year. It wasn't possible. Let's, yeah, let's take it out. Fuck, I didn't even think about it. We can take it out, right? Yeah, let's do it. Take the whips off, the Berkey Brats. Oh, that's so hype. Literally the best part. This was like, I literally can't thank you boys enough. This was my dream all on like house on a lake where I can take a boat out, jet skis and all that stuff. One of my best friends from home lived on a lake. He's one of Chase's really good friends too. So we just kind of grew up there when we were in like middle school and high school. So I want to be able to do that and like Hopefully, if I find a woman who doesn't leave me, I want my kids to be able to do that. Or maybe I'll just impregnate a bunch of women, and they have no choice. <laughs> you can't leave me now, bitch. I've got a kid with you. Whoa. Idiot. You should do, like, playing Madden uh, on a boat. On a wig. Ah, wig. that's not a very good video idea. Dude, the craziest, like, this is like a universal fact of the world. If you live on a lake or you just ever go out on a lake, you just, all you do is you lap around the lake and look at the massive houses. The, some of the houses out here are just so stupidly expensive and absurd that it's just like, who, like what? Who are you, bro? How many bonus points if I run these jet skiers over? All right, I'm gonna commit vehicular manslaughter. I'm not gonna do it. I don't know if that one, can that one go in? I'm definitely putting that in the video. <laughs> they can't stop me. Fun fact of the day, this shirt is a woman's shirt, but I saw it in Dick's and it's just so fire. So I just got a woman's extra large. But you would have never known. You were probably gonna ask where I got the shirt from. I can feel it in the milkers a little bit. Suited yeah. for someone with a bit more milk. The old yogurt bags. <laughs> I'll never get over that. <laughs> Shoot my dicks in my own ass. Next on the docket, all this left is upstairs and then the wheel muck garage. This is the deck off of the uh, kitchen. This is my next big project, you know? If I sell out a few more times, maybe. A couple more Raid Shadow Legends ads. But actually, yeah, I wanna strip all these off and put up glass. Cause this is so silly. You got a beautiful view right here. Why would you obstruct your view? And then I wanna put some like, yep, the Foobies are mad. Cry, Fooby. Cry about it, Fooby. Hey, keep crying. <laughs> so yeah, I want to put like an outdoor dining area out here and like a big umbrella and all those string lights. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the bedroom. This is where I literally have sex with your mother. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Where was your mom last night at 10.30 p.m.? Think about it. Do, can you, do you remember? I guarantee you don't. You're saying to yourself, oh, she was in her room, right? Was she? D did you see her between 10.30 and 10.33 p.m.? Yeah, I only lasted 30 seconds. Sorry, she's hot. Yeah. I even made the bed for you. 
Just kidding. Your mom did that before she fucking left last night, bud. All right, I'm serious though. I made the bed. May 4th. It's like your astrology sign. I don't know. May the 4th be with you? Is that what Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is a small version of what I was talking about. It's kind of becoming destroyed, but it's all the places I've been with a pin in them. It's kind of cool. There's a decent amount in there. Each one has a good story. This is London, Italy, Greece. Croatia, Germany, Amsterdam, Hungary, Budapest, Ukraine. You guys know that story. Mytilene, Turkey. I'm missing something. This is a this is a Gucci plate. When I tell you I'm serious about this, I'm very serious about this. It's so cute. It's my jewelry plate. It houses my one Gucci ring, which I wear if I'm feeling extra e-boy. If I'm feeling like I want someone to question my sexuality, I'll just throw that out. And they're like, hmm, does he like boys? You know? This is my degree. There is a typo on it, which is such a bitch. So you guys know I went to Michigan State. My dad got this framed as soon as I graduated. I love him for that. It does say I have a Bachelor of Arts with a major in marketing. It should say with a major in plumbing, but when it got printed out or something, I don't know, there's just a typo. They goofed it. For those of you who didn't know, I don't know if any of you guys are new to my channel, but I, I actually majored in plumbing at MSU um, so that I could lay pipe on your mom. Joke, I've used that joke so many times. Literally everybody knows that joke. Already. Nothing special in here. You guys remember Kaylee, she had really curly hair. She'd always put this shit in her hair. She left it at my house one day and I got out of the shower and I was like, fuck it, like I'm gonna try it out. Bro, she is, usually my hair's like, well it's pretty flat right now anyway, but I don't get a lot of curls. But if I like put this in my hair after the shower, herbal essences, this is not sponsored. I just thought I'd let you guys know. You guys know this puppy? The Gay Pride Versace robe. I really, really am, this is my coming out video, I guess. <laughs> so That's what it's feeling like right now. Good view of the lake too. Yeah, good, good view. Do you like a full video, like a closet tour, like everything is in my closet? I'm not gonna do that. I'll give you guys like a two second look. It'll just be you coming out of the closet. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm staying in here. No, I'm not coming out of the closet. I'm staying right, right. here. All right, we'll see hey, have a good video. Tour room the Willow Mutt studio for me, all right? All right, we'll see ya. Right. I mean, your parents- I'm not ready yet. What if my family judges me? <laughs> Lululemon just dropped, like, men's sets. Yeah. This man. shit is fire. It, I can't wait to wear it. You guys know I like my shirts like this. And this is so sick. I cannot wait to wear this. You barely tell the shorts are even there. Yeah, they're blending in, baby. I did notice with shoes, like I was buying a lot of shoes, I just wouldn't wear them, you know? I end up wearing Burks around the house all the time. Um, and when I go out, I'll either wear really fancy shoes or Vapor Maxes. I always wear my Vapor Maxes because they make me two inches taller. These are the goats. I swear to God, especially if you got any short kings out there. Dude, look, if you're six foot tall, go have a blast, buddy. Go beat your own Schmeet. I'm not, okay? And now, for the best part, the Wheel of Muck Garage, and then we're out of here. Gentlemen, welcome to the Wheel of Muck Garage, baby. Okay, so I'll give you the formal tour. Number one, this is all temporary. This is just inspection stuff, and this is just for the workers, this AC unit. We're getting full-fledged AC to go through the entire room, which is sick, but that has not been put in yet. So I guess it's not formally done. Right when you walk in, the whole floors have been finished. It's indestructible, it looks really good. It's got little blue specks in it. It's blue, silver, white, and black. So technically I can still use this as a garage, but that's not really what it's intended for. The big thing was kicking out the back windows. This is the best view. This is the lake view, like this is what you want. Uh, this is gonna be my anime wall. I know I'm a total weeb. It's not finished yet. This is Yoshikage Kira. If you know him, I love you. Guy's a stud. Kinda look like him. <laughs> I really don't. He's way more handsome than me. Right here is gonna be Saifa. <laughs> Alexa, you're a whore. <laughs> this is gonna be Saifa Belnades from Castlevania. And this is undetermined. I have no idea what I'm gonna put here yet, so I'm gonna figure it out. Full 3D wall panels. They did such a good job on it. The builders who did this room, they, they did amazing. Who would you even call that shape, bro? I have no I idea. Know. I think it's a cock. It literally is a cock and a ball. Two balls, one short cock. Kind of looks like so mine, I was, actually. I was just gonna say, did you just give them a mold of yours? And... I mean, I would have, except they'd be like this big uh, if I give them a mold of mine. It's gonna take forever to put together. I got these little Japanese room dividers. I went with the all white theme because I'm racist. Um, what? There's no punchline. I'm joking. 
just racist. This is my most unpopular opinion. I think m most, I'd say 90% of YouTubers use PC and I hate it. I love Mac. And this is where I play like 2K or Madden and then this is just a second monitor. So if you guys see me making a video, I have like all my footage and recordings and face cam stuff like verified right here. And then this is where I play the game. And then if it gets dark, I have the Elgato lighting panels right here. Like if I'm making a video at 9 p.m., that almost never happens. I just don't do that. So usually I make videos like in the morning until midday. I just put these up in the grand scheme of things. They look a little bit weird because there's all this open space up here. But the whole point was for the videos. So now in video shots, you should see like this plant, Stafford, and the 100K check. One take, okay? One take. Kind of a free throw, it's a close shot. Fuck my ass. Oh, I'll let you guys see this. This is kind of weird. Most people don't see this. This is my calendar. This is how I plan out videos. So I tell you guys I'm a sellout, right? This is all of my ads for the month of August. Manscaped, Mac Weldon, Dr. Squatch, Seat Geek. I have three Seat Geeks. Actually, one of them's in this video. One of the Seat Geeks is in this video. Holy shit, I totally forgot about that. I do want to thank Seat Geek. <laughs> <laughs> I am seriously though, this video is sponsored by SeatGeek now that I remember. SeatGeek is the best place to buy tickets. I know I'm a sellout, but that doesn't mean it's not the best place to buy tickets. I use it for the festivals that me and Chase are all about to go to. If you use code MMG, you get $20 off. The app is amazing. Definitely you should have SeatGeek on your phone by now. If you want to go to a game, if you want to go to an NBA game, NFL game, a concert of anything, go to SeatGeek. Yeah, SeatGeek, I do love you. I got Rick Shout Legends, baby, the GOATs. Probably should have wrote that down, but intermission started here. No video yesterday, house tour, no video tomorrow. And then we come back from the intermission, episode 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. These are undetermined. If there's a video you guys really wanna see, I don't know what to post on the fifth, sixth, and seventh, so let me know. It's signed by like the most random players. I think it's like Brett Maher. Love that last name. This is when I clapped. Literally clap you boy pizza's cheeks. Oh my God, what a bum. It's just been downhill for him ever since. Sorry, bud. I beat this YouTuber in Madden, and I went out and made myself a custom trophy <laughs> of me beating him in Madden. Yeah, he was not happy. Yeah, boys, that's pretty much it. I absolutely love this house, and I really cannot thank you guys enough for putting me in a position to where I can be doing this. It's not like a giga mansion or anything. I know you guys are probably used to those house tours, but I am so incredibly happy. I can't wait to make super heat bangers for you guys in here. The only reason I'm here is because of you guys. So thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for uh, sticking with me through my annoying sellouts. Um, and I'll just keep making bangers for you guys. So thanks for so watching as always. I love you guys. Peace out.